Glory be to God. Thank you so much for joining us again on this, our special day of service. Glory be to God. I need you to help me do one thing, share the video to everyone connected to us, your brother, your sister, everyone. It's time for us to go to the Word of God. Do not forget. This is seed of lifeline where we take root downwards and bear fruit upwards. Let us pray. Father, we thank you this moment because you're a good God. We worship you and we exalt you. You are the King of Kings. You are the Lord of Lords. You are the one who has brought us thus far into this new month of June. This is the first Sunday of the month of June. Lord, we are grateful. We have your exalted ancient of days. Lead us as we go through your word now in the name of Jesus. Amen. So thank you again for connecting with us today in this special uh, online service designed to ensure that you and I get the required blessing God has for us in the month of June. So let us Go to the word of God. Hallelujah. We are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Lord. We are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Lord. We are saying thank you, Jehovah. Thank you, my Lord. We are saying thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, my God, for your goodness. Thank you, Jehovah. Thank you, mighty God. We are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my God. I want you to uh, follow me as we open our Bible. To the book of first john chapter number three we'll be reading from verse one the book of first john chapter three we'll be reading from verse one it says behold what manner of love the father had bestowed upon us that we should be called the sons of god therefore the world knoweth us not, because it knew him not. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for your word. The entrance of your word gives light. By your spirit, lead us the way to go now. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And so, today, permit me to consider the topic that says... A child or a son. I say it again. A child or a son. Are you a child or are you a son? And so from where we read, the scripture made us to understand that we can see the kind of love that God has for us. We can see the love that cannot be quantified that the Almighty God Himself has for us. So, what manner of love is this? That the Lord Himself, the Father of all love, has bestowed upon us that we should be called the sons of God. And so, I need you to quickly understand a few things in the scripture about who a child is and who a son is. But may I start giving you one, some basic truth about who a child is and who a son is. A child will always complain. Complain about virtually everything. Can complain about your health. Can complain about your money. Can complain about food. Can complain literally over everything. But a son, a son commands. Instead of complaining, he commands attention. He decides what needs to be done. Who is a son? A son withstands the pressure from the devil. Bible says, resist the devil and he will flee from you. 
But a child runs away from the devil. So if you are running away from the devil, you are still a child. Bible says, when you have done all to stand, then do what? Stand. Who is a son? A son that exercises faith. Faith makes you an overcomer. Bible says they overcome all things. That faith makes you one who is always triumphant. But a child, a child is always afraid. Instead of exercising faith, a child is always afraid, exercising fear. Who is a son? A son is one that is always taking responsibility. Hallelujah. A son is always taking responsibility. But children transfer responsibility. If you transfer responsibility, it simply means that you are a child. You only need to understand yourself. What am I supposed to do in this situation? What am I supposed to do in my office? You don't need to be told all the time. A child will always wait until somebody tells him or her what to do. But a son takes responsibility and says, this is my assignment, I got to get it done. In my workplace, this is the assignment I need to get done, I will do it. In the house, this is what is required of me and I will do it. That is a son for you. But a child will always try to transfer it. Uh, this person can get it done. The other person can get it done. If you are always in the manner of doing such kind of thing, you are described as a child. A child will always be who he's supposed to be. But guess what? A child does not persevere. In other words, a child wants it now. Give it to me now. I need it now. But a son knows how to persevere. A son knows how to endure until the blessing manifests. That is to say, a son is very patient. He knows when to jump in. He knows when to wait. But a child does not want to wait. He wants to have it right now. He wants to marry right now. Whoever the person is, as long as he's a man, as long as he's a lady, I want to get married. I want a job now, by all means, let it come. Whatever I need to do and get it done, let it done. That is the life of a child. But a son will sit down to analyze and look at the consequence. A son, ready to persevere. Jesus, Bible said, is a son of God. The scripture declared that for the glory that was laid ahead of him, he endured the cross. Somebody say persevere. He, he persevered. He endured. He determined to wait until he's mature to handle that blessing. Who is a child? A child always wants to spend money right now. You want everything you see, you go ahead and spend on it. But a son wants to invest. A son looks at the, the, the value of money. The implication of investment, investment right now. May I ask, are you a child or are you a son? Based on what we have been talking about, right now are you a child can we describe you as a child or can we describe you as a son true sons have money but a child money has him that is to say money controls a child but a son is always in charge of money a son gives money assignment tells money what he should do but a child money tells him what to do that is an error. Guess what? When Paul was speaking, he said, when I was a child, I speak like a child. I think like a child. I act like a child. But when I grew up to become a son, I become more responsible. Rather you shout a better amen. amen. You know, there is something I discover about the difference between a child and a son. When you are a child, you can't be trusted with some level of wealth. Let me give you an example of my experience when I was living with my dad. You know, when I was living with my dad, each time I want to ask for something, I want it right now. And many a time, because it's my father, I just dash into his room without knocking. And one of those days, I dashed into his room, what I saw, he was counting money. And he screamed at me, what are you doing here? You know what? Because he knew I can't handle the kind of money I was seeing. He said, get away from this place. I had to dash out. You know, sometimes when you meet him accidentally, he will tell you what the money is meant for. That is to say, you don't need to place a demand because you are a child. 
You don't know the value of money yet. But as time goes on, when I got a job, stood, I was not giving him a gift. One of these days, or one of those days, he called me and said, my son, come. Come. He was able to address me as my son. Come. I said, Daddy, what is this? He said, come inside. I went inside. He brought bundles of money. I said, can you help me count this? How much is this one? How much is this one? How much is this one? You know why? Because now he understood that I am a son. I can take responsibility. I can be trusted with that money. And because of that, he has the confidence that I will not play around with what I have seen. When a child sees certain things, he will go around broadcasting it. But a son will say, this needs to be kept secret. This needs to be taken to a level whereby it will not become a problem to you. There are information you will release to other people, you put your life into danger. My father trusted me. So a child cannot be trusted. What you tell a child not to say, that is what he will say. Remember those days where you will tell your child, uh, when, when this person comes in, tell him that I am not in. That's, that's not nice. That's teaching a child how to tell lies. But an innocent child who does not even know the implication of what you are saying. When that particular visitor com comes in, he will tell you, uh, my dad tells me that I should tell you that he is not inside. <laughs> you know, that is a child. That is typical of a child. But if you are a son, you can be trusted with information. If you are a child, you can be trusted with wealth. And that takes me to the next point. Children can be given money, but sons are given wealth and investment to manage. I take it again. If you are a child, you can be given money. But if you are a son, God will put in your hand wealth for the future. Great inheritance that you can manage. Can God trust you as a son? You know, there's something I saw in the scripture. Still reflecting on what I told us earlier. Paul said, when I was a child, I think like a child. When I was a child, I act like a child. That is to say, it is natural to start life as a child. It is natural to start life as a baby. But it is out of order for you to remain a baby forever. Which means, Paul said, but now I have grown. I am no longer doing childish things. I am shifted from child level to the level of being called a son. And that tells us that there is always a transition from the level of childhood to the level of sonship. There is something I saw in the scripture which I want us to go ahead and read. And that should be in the book of Isaiah chapter 9 verse 6. Can you follow me to the book of Isaiah chapter 9 verse 6? Isaiah chapter 9 verse 6. It says, For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Look at those two places where the statement was written on yellow. Child is born. Son is given. Mark those two statements. Child is given. But son is Sorry, child is born, but son is given. What is the implication of this? Hallelujah. Amen. That tells us that there is usually transition and navigation. You we are born as a child, but God gives a family a son. Oh, glory be to God. Amen. A son is given. A son is given authority. A son is given power. A son is given a trusted position. Who is a son? One who can stand. One who cannot be waved around. What are typical of a son? We have read in the book of Isaiah chapter 9 verse 6. It said that a son is given and the government shall be upon his shoulder. Which means every child of God does not stop as a child. 
Bible says, as many as receive him, to them he has given the power to be the sons of God. What a mystery. And as a child of God, there is no male or female. God sees all of us. From the day you repented, from the day you gave your life to Jesus, from that day, God sees you as a son. Glory be to God. Mm -hmm. Now you understand your true identity. Don't call me a woman. I am a son. Don't call me a girl. I am a son of God. In the realm of the spirit, there is no male or female. God sees each and every one of us as sons. He said, and the son is given. That's a great gift. Hallelujah. Amen. And what are the responsibilities of the son from the place where we read in the book of Isaiah, chapter number 9, verse 6? He said, the government shall be upon his shoulder. That is to say, when you are a son, you are God makes you to be in charge. You occupy leadership position in the office, in the home. You don't need to be told what to do. You will be a person of skill, a person that is in charge of finance, a person that displays wisdom. Someone say, the government shall be upon my shoulder. The government shall be upon Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So God requires that you take responsibility. You need to be in charge. In that family, I am in charge. In that office, I am in charge. Not the devil is in charge. Sickness cannot be in charge over my life. If we cannot be in charge over my family, in this month of June, I want you to understand whom God has made you to be. You are in charge. You are in charge in that home. No devil is in charge of your home. Death is not in charge of your home. Sickness is not in charge of your life. Not even that man that is terrorizing you in the office is in charge of your life. Oh yes, God has made you to be in charge. You need to understand who you are and operate in this mind. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Who is a son? A son, Bible say, is given. It shall be called wonderful. Wonderful. What does that translate to us? It means that you are unstoppable. It means that you are a display of wonder. You know, when David was speaking, he said, I have become a wonder to them all. That is to say, there is nothing that Saul did not do to crush him because of the anointing of greatness that was upon him. Because of the kingship that God had put upon him. Have they been pursuing you in your office? And then they pursue you in your village. And then they pursue you in the place where you are residing right now because of the great future you have. I want to declare over you, you are unstoppable. Amen. Because God has made you a son who is wonderful. Like David, you shall be a wonder to them all. Can you shout a better amen? amen? Maybe they may be manipulating and afflicting you in the office. When God makes you a wonder, no affliction will bring you down. You can ask the people of Israel when they were in the land of Egypt. Bible says the more they afflicted them, the more they multiplied and increased. I declare over you, the more the enemy wants to stop you, the more God gives you more grace to showcase the glory of God. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I declare over you, in that office, you are not stoppable. I decree in your home, no devil will stop you. I decree no sickness, no disease, no plan of the enemy shall stop you in this month of June. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. What about the man Paul? The Bible says that he was supposed to appear in Rome, but there was a ship capsized and it led them to get into an island of Melita. When they got there, the Bible says that the, 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 the barbarians who happened to be occupants of that island, they kindled fire and the fire was going down. Paul pulled a stick in order to make sure that the fire does not get extinguished. My Bible says a viper got hung on his hand. And the Bible says, the people looked at him and said, this one is a murderer. It's a, it's, it's, it's a killer, in other words. My Bible says they waited for him to die. After a short while, they waited and waited, and the death sentence they passed against him in the spirit, in their heart, never subsided. They looked at him and said, you are a God. You are a God. In other words, he displayed wonders. I decree over you again, in this month of June, anyone expecting you to die suddenly, that person shall be disappointed. Amen. I decree over you, anyone expecting your family to pack up, expecting your family to scatter, I decree this month of June, it shall not happen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Anyone in the office who have been eyeing you, the Bible says because that the women sang the praises of David from that day, Saul eyed him. Saul desired to kill him because of the great fame that he is already having. Anyone in your office that is eyeing you with evil eye, 
that is looking at you and say, what shall I do to get this boy out of the place? What can I do to get this woman out of the place? I decree, like Saul, they shall be phased out. Like Saul, they shall not be able to hurt you. Like Saul, their position shall be replaced. In the name of Jesus Christ. Who is a son? We have already said, it's a mighty God. Glory be to God. You know, when we use the word mighty God, it means God will use you to do mighty things. Things that will make people to get thrilled. Things that will make people to even be afraid of you. You know why? Because there is power of God that he has released upon your life. You will do mighty things. I say you will do mighty things. I decree over your life, you will do mighty things. You are a, can I tell you something? Any, it is what is in you that tells you who you are. If God lives in you, you are a God. Oh yes. If you doubt it, I want you to read the book of John, the John chapter 11 verse 35. The Bible says, there are gods unto whom the word of God has come. So if the word of God resides in you, that is Jesus in you, is the hope of glory, you are a God. You shall be feared. The enemy will see you and tremble. In the name of Jesus Christ. Those that want to crush you, God will crush them. Those that want to frustrate you, God will frustrate them. Anyone who have dug a hill, any particular pit against you, the Bible says they shall fall into their own pit. You know why? Because God has made you a God. You are a wonder. You are a mystery that cannot be decoded. Shout a better hallelujah. I don't know who I'm talking to this day. I proclaim the blessings of God upon your life. You shall not be stopped. In the name of Jesus Christ. And who is a son? From the place where we read, he said, he shall be called everlasting father. What does that mean? A man with lasting inheritance. A man, so, but we say, a good father leaves inheritance for his children to dream. So if God is addressing his son as everlasting father, it simply means that the inheritance he's going to give to us will last forever. The name of the Lord Jesus Christ is still lasting forever. You as a child of God, God is making you, has already made you a God because he lives inside of you. The inheritance that is meant for you is ever everlasting. No devil will take your blessings away. No power of darkness will take your inheritance away. Can I have you shout a better amen? amen. I declare over you this month of June, you shall be a distributor of inheritance. In the name of Jesus Christ, shout a better amen. amen. And Bible says, who is a son, a son. Is a prince of peace. May I ask, what is life when peace is denied? It doesn't matter what you have. You may have money. You may have children. You may have wife. You may have everything in this life. But if you have no peace, you are in trouble. Peace is more than it all. Bible says he will give you peace that passes all understanding. I declare over you. You and your family, you will enjoy unspeakable peace this season. In the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever have taken your peace in the month of May, I decree this June, your peace shall be returned. Amen. Your peace shall be returned. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, the Bible says you will give us peace that passes understanding. Is there any child that you have that have given you a lot of trouble? This month of June, I decree that child shall give you peace that passes all understanding. In the name of Jesus Christ. Is there anyone here whose health has been giving him or her trouble? I declare this month of June, you shall receive sound health that gives your life eternal peace. In the name of Jesus Christ. Is there anyone here connected to this broadcast who can say my finances have given me a lot of trouble? That give me a cause for concern. In this month of June, I proclaim the blessings of God that this month you shall operate in financial peace. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Can you lift up that hand and begin to appreciate him? Amen. Father, we thank you. Lord, we honor you. Amen. I am that I am, we exalt your holy name. Amen. You are the King of Kings. Yes. You are the Lord of Lords. You are the awesome God. You are the unchangeable changer. You are the one who has brought us thus far in this month of June. Being the sixth month of the year, almost the year, almost half. We just want to say thank you. Thank you, precious Lord. We worship you. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. Remember, we are praying right now. We're going to be praying for you. I want you to open your mouth and begin to appreciate God for this moment. Say, Lord, I thank you. I thank you for this hour. I thank you for this moment. For having spoken to me in a very clean and simple language. 
that this month I am moving, I am moving from the level of childishness, from the level of being addressed as a child to a level of being addressed as a son. Lord, I decree right now over everyone that is under the sound of my voice. This month of June, I decree over you, the devil will not treat you as a child. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree that the power of God shall come over you. The government shall be upon your shoulder. It simply means that God will put in you what is required to manage your home. God will put inside of you what is required to operate and take over leadership position in that office. I decree over you what is needed for you to be called a son who is in charge. Receive it in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare over you. In this month of June, the Bible says that they shall be called wonderful counselor. Lord, you are the one that gives wisdom. Wisdom, you say, is the principal thing. People that have it, they acquire wealth. People that have it, they are celebrated. People that have it, they become the signature for all eyes. Because we knew that Solomon had it. Even the queen of Sheba came and witnessed and said, Indeed, this is the blessings of God. Therefore, I declare over everyone under the sound of my voice, and anyone connected to this particular blessing Sunday today, I decree this month of June, you will operate in excellence of wisdom. This month of June, you will operate in high level of wisdom. In the name of Jesus Christ, my Bible says that Ahithophel had a counsel such that when he gives it, it can be described as God speaking to people. I decree this month of June, June, you shall be valued in your home. When you speak, people will respect your opinion. In your office, you will be valued. When you speak, they will respect your contribution. In the name of Jesus Christ, He said, they shall be called everlasting father. Lord, you say, a good father, leave it an inheritance. I decree this month, you shall have inheritance to transfer to people. In the name of Jesus Christ, He said, you shall be called mighty God. Lord, you will use this one to do mighty things. Those who have belittled you and said that you will amount to nothing, they will look on you and say, indeed, we need help from you. Receive that grace in the name of Jesus Christ. And the Bible says that he shall be called everlasting father, yes. which means you're going to have a lasting inheritance. Your relevance shall not be short-lived. Anyone who wants to, who has taken a move to make you to expire, to face you out of the place or take you out of the place of comfort, to take you out of the place of, of, of feeding and out of the place of your, of your enemy. Today, in the name of Jesus, if they refuse to repent, they themselves shall be phased out. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree that your stay will endure. Your stay will last. No one will take you away from the place of comfort. In the name of Jesus Christ. And above all, the Bible says, you shall be called the Prince of Peace. I decree peace over you. Peace over your heart. Peace over your health. Peace over your family. Peace in your workplace, peace in your finances, peace in your career, peace in your calling, peace even in your church, in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, precious Lord, for answering us this hour. We see this prayer and their utterances with the precious blood of Jesus Christ. We give you all the glory, awesome God, for answering our prayers. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Shout a better amen. Amen. So this broadcast will not be complete if I don't give people opportunity to give their life to Jesus. Remember the Bible says, as many as receive him, to them he has given power to be called sons of God. Which means if you have not received Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior, you are still operating as a child and you are under the manipulation of the enemy. Today, you can take a step like Paul. He said, when I was a child, I behaved like a child. Now I have moved to the new level. Are you ready to move to the new level? It's the new month. This day can be a memorial for you. It's just a simple prayer. And you're up there with us. Just repeat after me. Say, in the name of Jesus Christ. This moment, I come to you. I ask that you forgive me all my sins. Have mercy on me. Give me the power to live for you. Jesus I receive you as my personal Lord and Savior today. Holy Ghost, guide me in Jesus' name. Amen. Let me pray for you. Father, I pray for all this one have given their life unto you, as well as those who had a heart and mind to stand in the gap for other people for their repentance. I ask that the power of sin be broken in their life, the grace to live for you as a child of God be released upon their lives. Thank you, Father, Holy Spirit. I hand them over to you to keep and to nurture. 
In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. That's what it takes. You're not a child of God. All you need to do right now is to look around and find a Bible-believing church where you can connect with them and build yourself with the sincere milk of God's word. I want to say thank you for joining with us tonight or to this day. To you, some people it could be in your night. To us, it's still in the morning. But I want to say God bless you for being with us this day. Do not forget, this is your brother, Pastor Casey, saying, remain rapturable. Above all, I want to invite you to our bedtime with Jesus. is aired daily. You can still check it out on our Facebook page on Seed of Lifeline. Have a blessed day. Say amen. Amen. amen and amen.